Okay, it says we're okay. Can you all see uh, the stream? Is it working? Okay, good. Okay. Well, I guess I'll do my, my next bonus feature. For as long as I possibly can. And you will all love this. This is what you guys have all been waiting for, I'm sure. So remember when I said Castlevania the Adventure is completely trash and unredeemable? Well, the crazy bastards at M2 Studios were like, you know what? No, it's not. And we're going to show you why. And they did. Those crazy bastards did in fact show me why. Because this is Castlevania the Adventure Rebirth. For the Wii! Where? I don't know if I'll beat this, but I will play it for a bit. So this game is really cool. It is based off of Castlevania the Adventure. And it was made by M2 Studios, who you guys will probably all know. Um... And it's freaking red. Oh, here we go. I love the music in this game, by the way. M2 did, I believe. So this game's OST is done entirely in the style of Konami arcade games. And it fucking rules. Oh my god. It rules. So here's the first song from Castlevania on the Genesis. Yeah, man, you literally can't buy this game anymore. God, it's so good! So yeah, you have your full jump control, although if you want... Oh, it's probably really loud, actually. Give me a second. So you have full control over your jump. Uh, but you can also you can also turn it on in the options to have the classic Castlevania jump Where you can't control it. So if you prefer the uh, classic jumping you can have that Classic mode also only gives you the holy water and the uh, cross just like in Castlevania the adventure uh, 2 Or Castlevania 2 Belmont Revenge, sorry But if you play in regular mode where you have the jump control you also get the other sub weapons as well but if you play in classic mode, you get the classic jump, and you also get the only sub-weapons the Game Boy games had. In Japan, anyways. Because the American version of uh, Castlevania 2 Belmont Revenge had the axe instead of the cross. But I'm not going to play on classic mode, because the game defaults to normal controls, so we'll leave it at that. So, uh, this game, I might not beat it tonight, but I really like it. I really, really like it. This game fucking rules! Oh yeah, Smooth, you missed Dracula X, but you're in time for this. Oh! I changed the uh, encoding baseline to main, so maybe that's why. Maybe the high, maybe the high profile was it was doing that. 
I don't know. By the way, welcome to the stream, my friend! Castlevania the Adventure Rebirth! We beat Dracula X earlier today. Like, just uh, pretty recently ago. And now I'm just doing this one until I run out of time before I have to stream with Game. Because this game is lit, and I want to at least show it off. I don't know if I'll beat it, but I will count it, because I have beaten it before. And I can rank it on the marathon. Because I've beaten it pretty recently again, so... It's been ready to be ranked for some time, but... Obviously I want to stream it. So after this I'll be done with Classic Vader! The, uh... The Vampire Schiller Marathon, which has gone on for three days. And it's long enough for me, truth be told. But it feels good to dedicate a lot of streaming time to my one of my favorite gaming series of all time. It feels right to do this. And then I can finally finalize the rankings, and then I'm, I plan on doing a YouTube video where I discuss everything. So like I'm gonna kind of take the footage from my streams and use it, mute the audio in it, and sort of just use it to facilitate the background of the videos. Uh, with no audio of course, because I don't want to have me talking over myself, but I'll be using them for the, the game footage to talk about my experiences with each game. Just explain my rankings a bit. And I'll try and pin the right up somewhere or back it up. Yeah, it's gonna be a really good Watch Mojo video. Are there even 10 Classic Vania games? It's actually a really good question. Oh god, the eyeballs. Anyways, we've been running into these eyeballs a lot, so it's only natural. This is the remake of Castlevania the Adventure, yes. Because the crazy bastards at M2 were like, well, if you want to make us a Castlevania rebirth, make us do a Castlevania rebirth game, why don't we remake the worst one? And like, wow, make it a video game? So the nice thing about this game is that much like Castlevania Bloodlines on the Genesis, it does something I really like. Uh, the blue candles will always give you a sub-weapon or, or a whip upgrade. And the red candles and any other candle color will give you hearts. So you always know where your sub-weapons are going to be. Anyways, I should probably remember this song, but I don't remember where it's from. I'm sorry, everybody. It's from something, though. I know it's from a game. Sounds like Turtles music. Yeah, the entire game is orchestra is composed in the style of Konami's arcade games. Like this entire OST uses the same sound font. And I think that's the most radical shit. Okay, I think the green candles in this level give you weapons. I think it differs depending on what level you're in. But I just do know that they mark off the sub-weapon candles in this game. Fuck, this game is good. I'm really glad I get to play it. I enjoy it whenever I play this game. It gets pretty challenging later too, don't worry. But um... It's never really super bullshit. This is Castlevania The Adventure Rebirth for the WiiWare. For the Wii. On WiiWare, sorry. For the WiiWare. Like that's a console. I really want to show everybody this game because uh... Well... We played Castlevania the Adventure, so I feel like it's worth mentioning this game. 
even if I can't beat it on stream today, and I end the marathon before I beat it, it is at least worth mentioning and playing a lot of. Though I still have a lot of time to beat it, so... Who knows, you might just be able to. This game fucking rocks! Oh god, no! Okay, we got a one-up. Oh no! Jellyfish! Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, a lot of sub-weapons use more than one heart in this game for some reason. I don't know why either, but... They do. Couldn't explain the decision myself, but I'm used to it by now. But this is technically the last game, isn't it? We can't buy this anymore. Thankfully, I do own this game. I, I digitally purchased it on a whim one day. And uh, I was really pleased with it. It's really good. It's probably gonna be high up on the list. For not only having difficulty settings, but difficulty settings that you can beat the game on. No matter which one you pick. Granted you- OH NO! Granted you get a different Dracula fight, depending on the difficulty, but I guess that makes sense because, again, it's difficulty. Also, I have to make a correction about Castlevania Bloodlines. You don't have to beat the game on Expert to fight every boss. I was wrong, actually. It turns out you can fight both forms of Elizabeth Bartley on Normal, and I was just stupid and I forgot that. So I could have beaten that game on Normal and saved myself the headache, but whatever. Now I know! When playing casually, just play it on Normal. Because I don't care that much about one extra line of dialogue in the ending. Whoops. Oh yeah, you can set yourself to have as many lives as you want to as you start. There is an option for nine. I picked nine. Thankfully, you also have unlimited continues in this game. There is no continue limit. So, no matter how many times you die, you can keep trying. Bloodlines is like the only one with limited continues. Feature it shouldn't have, because I don't like limited continues in a damn Vania game. That's not the best place to put that kind of thing. But I digress. Bloodlines is still my second favorite, and I stand by that. I still think it's ludicrously good. Oh, I didn't die to them this time, that's good. Can I please get a whip upgrade? Her Nair barely got touched, dude. <laughs> That's the best part, it's still basically the same. It does, uh, um, was it more base or something? It's more base knockback, so I can combo with it earlier. Or some shit. That's all they changed, it's perfect. It's good, it's good shit, dude. Absolutely good. Anyways, I don't know what the fuck this boss is. They were, uh... They were on some shit when they decided to make the Incredible Hulk a boss in this game. Oh no. And then his, his phase two is even weirder, like what? Like, what is this? He has- he has the best- look at Lariat! Like, why does he have Lariat? <laughs> oh, I don't know what the fuck this boss is. I- uh, I don't know what that was supposed to be, at all. Here's how much I know about that boss. Nothing. 
Anyways, who likes Castlevania 2 Belmont's Revenge? Why, you do? Oh my god, I'm so glad you like Castlevania 2 Belmont's Revenge because the next stage has a song from Belmont's Revenge and it fucking rocks! Oh, it's so good! Hit it! This game's soundtrack is fucking baller. I want to mention that right now. This level's pretty tricky, though. Soundtrack is really good. Oh, it's so good. I fucking love that they decided to just to just use arcade instruments for it. It was such a fucking good idea. Laird is better looking than Xanus. <laughs> hey man, leave that game alone. No bully, dude. No bully. I've never played Icons, actually. Maybe I should. I don't know, though. I got enough on my plate right now. Why do I have the knife? I might as well use it. I haven't seen the newest version of Icons ever, actually. Does it still look the exact same? Or did they improve on it at all? I'm s I haven't seen that game in, like... I haven't, I haven't, I haven't seen it since, uh, what was it? Evo? Oh my god! I thought I was gonna get hit there. Woohoohoo! Oh lord. I thought I was dead. Oh god! Wait! Okay. <laughs> this level is really scary. Oh shit! Go! Woo! Fuck. Oh my god! Hi! Hello, level! Nice to meet you, too! Pretty rockin' music for my death trap dungeon! Oh my- Jesus Christ! That was scary! Jump scares! What am I fighting again? Oh right, it's the, it's the bone dragon. With the wacky fireball. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, stop! Oh no, it moves! It knows how to move! It's an educated bone dragon. Whoa, what is this attack? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude, these attacks are wild. I don't want to die. Oh, 
Oh shit! Woo! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Clutch. Shit! Oh! Okay. Yeah. Fuck! That's okay. That's a checkpoint. Those red glowing statues are checkpoints. No! Wow, that's a really generous hitbox. It was like sniffing my ass and wasn't even hitting me. That would have been like a hit way earlier in any other video game. <laughs> what are these? What the f Whoa! Oh god. Oh god, why? Why?! Why does this game terrify you? What? I thought you'd never ask. That was a little close for comfort too, by the way. Oh, you fucker. Come on! Ugh! Okay. I'm scared. Did that poke me up through here? And, oh no, I'm over. Huh. That's what you get. What in the world is this? Whoosh. What? That's a cool thing, but I don't know what it is. So why am I trying to kill a red skeleton again? Yeah, the hazards in this level are really creative, but also really strange. How much of this looks really normal to you? What kind of boss are they going to cap this out with? I really am curious. What am I going to fight? I don't remember what I fight in this stage. It's been a while, y'all have to forgive me. Y'all. Oh, my fireball ran out. I'm sad. Oh, nice. I want that. Is there any health or anything? No? Okay. Alright. Alright! Oh, no. It's wow, is that an enemy from Soten? It's the Spectral Sword! Wow. Well, that's interesting. Can I, like, hit it? I can't seem to reach it. It does not want to make itself attackable, which I guess makes sense considering it's a boss, but... Oh! Oh god. What is going on here? Is this what they call active defense? My shield is my weapon? what those young folk are referring to, huh? Oh, jeez. That hitbox looks big. Whoa! Hey! Oh, fuck! Okay, I think I need an axe for this fight. Can I get one? Probably the better question. Can I get an axe? Survey says this is gonna be a cross, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know about that. Something tells me I should have kept my ex. Don't I feel smart right about now? Shit. 
on the bright side, it doesn't feel ridiculously unfair or anything. This phase might be a bit ridiculous, though. Is this game canon? Yeah, to my knowledge. I mean, it's a remake of The Adventure, which is a canon game. Oh, come on, man. One more fucking hit. There we got him. Noise. Yeah. Anyways, these guys are madmen, and you wanna how you know? Cause you might recognize this stage's music. Yes, you heard me. They took the loading background from Castlevania on the Sharp X68000 and just made it the stage song. And it works, surprisingly. I really like this rendition. It just fucking took a loading screen background and made it a song for a level. This game's OST is fucking great, I know! It's so good! Honorable mention of this game's soundtrack. Sadly, not much of these songs are in Ultimate. I hate to be the, the bearer of bad news. Ultimate does not have very many songs, if any, that I recognize from the Game Boy games at all. Or from Chronicles. But again, they have 34, which is a lot. I couldn't really ask for much more. They put a lot of shit in. So, you know, I'll take what I can get. I won't be a greedy fuck. You can't get everything. I mean, like... There's, like... There's so many Castlevania songs, you really... You can't have it all with 34. We got Iron Blue Intention, though. And a lot of other really good ones. So, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with it. I haven't looked at the song list in a while, but I don't remember seeing anything from the Game Boy games. Or anything from this game. I think they have Aquarius. I don't recall if I saw that, but I'm pretty sure they might. I know they have Beginning. I don't know what version they're using, but... Because, like, we know the song names, we don't know what versions. So that's always a fun trip. Anyways, maze section. Who here is good at solving riddles? All you do is pick the right door. It's not really that hard. You just gotta know where to go. Oh, so we're gonna want this key? Actually, we don't need that key at all. I'm just an idiot. That's okay. It's like that room from Bloodlines, but not stupid. So what you want to do is... Oh! Oh, fuck. I don't even know how I died. It's okay, the actual reason you get that key now is to do this. Gonna... Hey man. I'm coming back this way. No oh, fuck. Hey, eyeball. 
I don't know why giant rolling eyeballs are a hazard in like all of the Game Boy games. I, I, I've never thought about why, but they are. Ah, bad puns. I love it. I live for bad puns. Good fucking god. You really gotta take your time in this room. Regrettably. You also have to make the jump. That's important. Yeah, this one section really isn't that bad if you've kept your sub-weapon, but if you haven't, it sucks. Sucks to be you, man! Huh. At least the song is good. Music's good enough to keep me going here. bottom row here. Yes. Peeping Eye! Everyone's favorite. Bye, Peeping Eye. Anyways, here's a reference to the uh, PSP Dracula X Chronicle. It's like Vampire Annette from the PSP remake. Wow. Oh god. Ugh! that nice boom so when I say vampire in it from the PSP remake there's basically a PSP remake of Rondo of Blood titled the Dracula X Chronicles and uh, it featured a remake of Rondo of Blood alongside the original game in Soton and one of the bosses was Annette if you didn't rescue her she would become a vampire and she had pretty much the same pattern as that they just referenced it in this game, because Dracula X Chronicles came out in 2006. This game came out like way in 08 or 09, I think. I do not remember when- You fucker! You piece of shit! I do not remember when this game came out. So it's uh, been a while. But I believe it was 08 or 09. Somewhere around there. Oh, I'm out of hearts, that's great. This game came out sometime, someplace. Oh, it said 09? Good. I'm surprised you read it. Because I don't read that shit. I don't read that shit! Reading's for smart people, I'm that smart. Easy, which I probably stated before. It does have a hard mode too if you feel like hurting yourself. Since I do not, we're not doing it. That's just not the kind of human being I am. Unless I'm really in the mood for it. Like, anyways, here's another Symphony of the Night thing. This game has nods to a lot of old Castlevania games. 
Not just the old 2D ones. Or not just the old classic 2D ones, rather. Kinda cool, actually, to see, like, Symphony of the Night enemies remastered or, like, used in a 2D Vania game. For, like, a classic Vania sort of game. Only because you're so used to seeing them in the format of, you know, Metroidvania. Then again, I think the axe would have been a good idea. I don't know why I didn't keep it. Anyways, it's time to fight the, uh... I don't know what the fuck this thing is. I just know I missed my chance to hit it. Because the cross sucks in this game. And that's my fault for not remembering that. You gotta whip these things. But we have three more minutes to beat this guy, so... We'll make use of all the damn sign in the world. I know you can get up there and hit him, too. You can, like, land on his, his like, chest and hit him. For some reason, my brain is having trouble processing the, the willpower to do it, though. There we go. Well, that's what you would do, assuming you could hit the little fuckers on them. Fuck! I don't like this boss very much. It's pretty boring. How did that not hit me? Oh well, I won't ask questions. I'll take it. This guy's hitboxes are either really bad or just... This boss kind of feels like a puzzle in some ways to me. But in a lot of other ways, I don't like it very much. Hey, I think he's getting a bit faster. And we're dead. Goodbye, Omega Face Symbol Golem. You fought well, but not well enough. Hello? Okay, I thought I heard somebody call me again. I'm gonna be right back really quick, but I'll let y'all listen to the music. Oh, it won't start. That's cool. Alright, I'm gonna keep y'all waiting for what the music is. Hold your breath. It's great. One second. I'm back. And now the music for those who have been waiting patiently. Here we go. There we go. So hey, Castlevania 3 is pretty good, right?
God, this game's music is fucking godlike. I hope this is the Aquarius that's in Smash Brothers, by the way. Assuming it is in Smash, because I could have sworn I read it on the song list. There we go. I really like this version of Aquarius. There's gotta be something up here. Like the eyes are protecting it so intently. I can't even get up there, never mind. Yeah, I don't know if I'm actually going to beat this one today. And since it's post-Symphony of the Night, I'm not worried about beating it. But, um, I do want to show it off at least. Because Castlevania The Adventure deserves that's something nice said about it, even if it's not about it, but about a remake of it. I just want to show you guys that the name Castlevania The Adventure did get salvaged and saved. So Christopher Belmont did in fact get to be in two games of good gameplay, as opposed to just one. Because that's his name. His name is Christopher Belmont, protagonist of Castlevania The Adventure, Belmont's Revenge, and this game. good to be in a good video game, you know? Castlevania The Adventure is still an absolutely terrible game, but this game? Damn good. Though still pretty hard. Probably about on par with Castlevania 1. I would say in terms of difficulty. This section sucks. Those golem guys are the worst. You know, live vicariously. Oh, the crow ruined it! Fucking birds in these games. In the minute I game over, I'll stop. Because I think it's been a pretty productive stream day. Considering I finished up the last thing I had to do. Put it to rest. We can say it now, Dracula X has been cleared. I can properly rank it on the list. And then say Vampire Shiller is over. Everybody go home. 
but it's, it's, it's great. It's great, it's really good actually, to be able to do that. Where are the ghosts? What? They're not they're just not gonna spawn this thing? Did the game get sick of me dying to them? Oh no, there they are. Okay. That was weird. I think Belmont's Revenge didn't have was the Medusa head enemy. I mean, sure, there were still some annoying ones, but no equivalent that I can think of. Evil clock him. Also, a clock tower because, of course, you can't have a Vania game without one. Oh, I didn't get off the stairs inside either. Legendary Monk Frankenstein. I don't know what they were going for at this boss. Are we done, dude? I'm tuckered out. I think that's enough Vania for me. Ah, it's been good. I've enjoyed showcasing everything. I'll be doing the write-up while I relax and probably eat dinner. But uh, thank you everybody who showed up, came and went, was here, wasn't here, etc. You've all been great. I hope you enjoyed. I don't know what I'll stream next or when. But I've had fun marathoning Vania games regardless. But now I need some rest before I do another stream with somebody in like an hour. So, uh, thank you all. Dracula X Final Boss is bullshit. That is all. Have a nice day.